What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you guys our haul from Geeks Out here in Ottawa, Ontario. It was this convention. It's a two-day convention. We decided to go right on day one about within the first hour that they opened, which was awesome because there was a lot of great stuff and we wanted to be one of the ones that got there first so we can get some great additions to our collection. We were there for about two hours. We spent more than we wanted to. We spent over $400, but we got a lot of great stuff that we couldn't find elsewhere. That's been hard to find and we did get some great deals as well. So that was pretty awesome. The convention had everything from collectibles to Funkos to stuff from the 90s, hockey cards, comic books, and a whole bunch of stuff. There was 115 booths in total. Now we didn't get to record in there because in my opinion, it was a little bit too busy and too hectic that I didn't want to go and bring my camera and go around. But today I'm gonna be showing you guys our haul from everything that we picked up today and there's quite a bit of stuff so hope you guys enjoy let's get straight into this okay so the first thing that we did find whenever we first got there one of the first booths was this smaller version of the ecto-1 which was fifteen dollars they actually had a larger version a larger vehicle which would have been huge but it was fifty dollars so for the first booth I decided to go small and we got this one here for my collection because I've been looking for one for a while it is an awesome die cast one, has some weight to it, but for $15, we thought that was a great deal for my Ghostbusters collection. While we were also there, I ended up picking up this cool Iron Man Funko Pop as well. This is one that I didn't have. We actually paid $15 for this as well. And this is him shooting with his blasters there, so that was really cool. And I'm surprised I actually don't have an Iron Man Funko in my collection, so we decided to pick this up. It was really cool. So $15 on that as well. Next, we ended up picking up this Michael Scott's Funko Pop for $20 with him holding the world's best boss mug, which is the one that we wanted for Michael Scott since we're huge fans of The Office. Now, a lot of the Funkos there did have the protective cases for them, which was really cool. So this is one that included that, but that is definitely one that we wanted for our office collection. And now we actually have it, and to stay on the office trend, we ended up picking up a rare one, one that we weren't originally going to get, but we're glad we got it. And that is the EB Games exclusive Stanley Hudson for Pretzel Day, which was just awesome. Now there is the Florida Stanley one, which we were debating on, but we decided to go with this uh, more exclusive Funko. This one here was $50, but we did get it for $30 with our bundle because we did get some other Funkos as well. We also got Kevin Malone with the pot of chili, which is really cool. And we also got Daryl from The Office, which is awesome. This is one that's neither... Uh, Michael was kind of hard to find in our opinion. Stanley, we've never seen anywhere, and it's been nearly impossible to find Daryl as well. But that is pretty cool too. So these are the office Funkos that we did pick up. These ones here, we paid $25 each. This one here, we got a great deal for $30. And this one here was at a different booth for $20. So that to me was a great pick up for all of these. Next is a special edition Funko for my girlfriend and that is Stephen King. It has him holding the book. It's hard to tell here. It has the balloon from it in the background there, but this one here was $30. We haven't seen this one before, so we decided to pick it up so she can add it to her collection. Really, really good condition. Most of the Funkos there were in really good condition, which was awesome to see. While we were there, I didn't this time actually pick up any hockey cards, but I did pick up a whole stack of What If comic books. This whole stack, I didn't even count to see how many I picked up. It's just I'd seen, I did have the list, so these are the ones I was missing so far. So this whole stack was $100, so I'm going to go through this as quickly as I can. We have What If, these are all volume two, by the way. What If issue 27, uh, Namor joined the Fantastic Four, issue 71. Issue 23, What If the X-Men Never Existed, which is gonna be a really cool story. Issue 63, 
Issue 9, what if the X-Men died on their first mission? This one's going to be awesome to read. Issue 36, what if the uh, Cosmic Avengers battled the Guardians of the Galaxy? Issue 38, issue 34, issue 5, what if Vision had destroyed the Avengers? Issue 3, we have issue 2, what if Daredevil killed the Kingpin, which is awesome. Issue 32, what if Phoenix had not died? Issue 28, uh, Captain America had led the army of super soldiers. Issue 33, what if Phoenix had rose again? Issue 37. Issue 39. And the last one, issue 64. So all of these was $100. He did have a lot higher prices on them. Some were 12, some were $8, some were six. So he did give me 25% off and then he rounded down to $100 for me, which was awesome for this whole stack of What If Comics, which are gonna be staying in my personal collection. Back to more Funko Pops. We did pick up the Joker. This is my favorite Joker right here. This one is $30. And it is by far my favorite Joker in all of the Batman series and all of the movies. And it is definitely the one that I want to get. One thing I didn't realize is this one right here, the one where he has the mask for robbing the bank, they have that one as well. It's $600. So I decided to go with this one here. And that is a nice addition to my collection. Paid $30 for that one. Another one here we picked up for my girlfriends and that is Stitch with the ukulele. This is not only a special edition, but it's part of the Diamond Collection. We did pay $25 for that, which is really cool. She already has one glittered one of Stitch, but this one here, we decided not to pass it up because it was so cool. And she absolutely loves Lilo and Stitch. So that was a nice one for her personal collection. Next up, back to Ghostbusters. I did pick up this Slimer here, which is one I have been looking for for quite some time. Absolutely love the Ghostbusters. Now this one here did not have a price on it, so they did look it up. It is apparently selling for $25, but I got a deal on it. I've only paid $20 for this Funko, which was really cool. Nice addition to my Ghostbuster collectibles collection. Next is another one that we picked up for my girlfriend, and that is one she's been looking for for a while, and that is Winnie the Pooh. This is him with the Santa hats, and this is a Hot Topic exclusive. And it is part of the diamond collection, just like the Stitch was a moment ago. So that is really cool. She loves the Winnie the Pooh. We've been looking for the regular one, which they did have, but they must have sold it. Because they did post pictures of their booth online before we got there. But we were there within the first hour of it opening, so it must have sold. This one here was $40, but it's one that's... Not only is it hard to find Winnie the Pooh, but this one here for being an exclusive one, we decided to purchase it and add it to her collection because she absolutely loves it and it looks amazing. We also ended up getting her this plush Eeyore, which was only $5. That was the price that they had on it, which it's brand new with the tags for $5. She loves Eeyore. She loves anything Winnie the Pooh. We decided to definitely add that to her collection for her because it was so cheap and this thing is so cute. And the last two things that we picked up are these two Funkos. We have the Mini Puff from Ghostbusters Afterlife. This is him holding the barbecue lighter, which was awesome. And we also picked up another one, which is this one here where he's actually on fire, which is awesome. So these ones here were $20 each. I decided that was a great deal. These are the two that I wanted. We actually found all of them in other booths and other stores recently, but these are the two that we did want the most. The other ones are cool, but these are the two that looked the funniest in our opinion. So those are the ones we decided to go with and add them to my Ghostbuster collection. Maybe in the future I'll change my mind since they're so small. Maybe I'll be able to get the, the rest of them. 
but these are freaking cute. So that is everything that we picked up at Geeked Out here in Ottawa, Ontario. It was a lot of fun, 115 booths to go through and just have fun. There was a lot of vendors for Funkos, a lot of comic books, which you guys seen that I am glad that I found my What If comics and found a lot of stuff for us both to add to our collection, to add to our office collectibles, to add to all of our Funko collectibles and everything that we enjoy and collect. Now we did spend a grand total of $430. Some of it we're likely gonna be keeping for each other for Christmas. Some of it we're gonna be splitting, for example, the office stuff, we're gonna be splitting the cost of those because that's for both of us. But we did have a lot of fun and definitely will be going back in the future whenever they have more events like this. I can't wait to check them out, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed, please take care, peace.